Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just kind of want to talk about uh, Princess Peach Showtime, uh, which got a full uh, showcase in the recent Nintendo Direct. Uh, this was actually a video you guys didn't want to see. Uh, you guys didn't even vote on it in the poll I did a few days ago, but that's okay. I still wanted to talk about it. You know, we just had to wait a little bit for me to talk about it finally, but here we are now. Um, so I'm going to be talking about uh, why this game looks so good uh, and why it could actually be pretty big for uh, Princess Peach and other Mario characters as a whole. Uh, so let's just get right into it. So yeah, like I was saying, Princess Peach sometime uh, is the full name of the game, uh, which is cool. I think it's a perfect name, but it also got fully revealed here. Now, I still find that a little bit strange that they teased it in the last uh june direct i don't know why they teased it in the first place uh they like hyped it up like it was like all oh, these mario things are happening mario rpg the luigi's mansion 2 uh rem remaster and Princess Peach Showtime, but I don't know why they had to reveal it like that because the way they revealed it honestly kind of made me and many other people somewhat excited for the game sure but also a little bit hesitant to think that this would be anything special this would probably many people thought it would just be kind of like a throwaway game for like the switches last year which again we don't have that confirmed but i do think this is probably going to be the switches last year as it's sold as the sole console for nintendo um but no they revealed it fully here and it looks amazing uh i'm gonna be repeating the footage of the trailer footage uh in this video but yeah, the game looks amazing. I love the way how everything looks. Obviously it has like the theater style, which is perfect. You know, I used to be somewhat of a theater kid myself. <laughs> uh, I was in theater in middle school and a bit of high school. Um, I had a mixed bag with theater. I think middle school was better than high school theater in my opinion. Um, don't at me, um, but like still there was value in theater. Um, I did enjoy it for the most part again Give or take some few things. So it's just kind of nice to see uh, a game take heavy inspiration from theater, especially like a New type of Mario game, you know, um, this is the second game Peach has been a part of uh, Technically, it was another Princess Peach game uh, Super Princess Peach uh, on the DS, I believe, and that game um, is pretty mid, probably. Um, I know people are nostalgic over it, but lots of people don't like it um, because it uses Pete's, like, she has power, some emotion for some reason. Um, I'm glad they didn't go that route again, making, like, a stereotypical uh, women-girl game. Uh, where like it's all about emotions and makeup or I mean like yes dress up is like a part of like women and girls you know culture um, but like it's not like as uh, stereotypical uh, as emotions are like like you know so if that makes sense so I'm really glad they're going in this direction and plus it's not just simple old dress up you know if this was like a simple dress up game with Pete's I don't think many people will be talking about it, um, but this is an actual full game where your costumes change up your gameplay like drastically. Like you see this in the trailer where Pete is like fighting. Uh, with a sword, uh, fighting in like a kung fu style, you know, like a beat em up. Like it's just really cool how they're incorporating these different like styles, these different genres in one game. Um, I don't know how in depth they're gonna be. Um, I think there'll probably be like one central outfit per each world slash chapter or whatever. So we'll get to experience uh, everything those costumes have to offer. Um, but like, yeah, they, they, from the few they sold us, they look very interesting. The only one I'm not super hyped about is like the Detective Pete's outfit thing. I don't know what, you, they just showed that you were looking around for clues. Maybe they'll be, it'll be more involved uh, besides that though. Um, but either way, like there's still so much other costumes they haven't sold. There's some people that theorize that we could get like a superhero Pete's that would be cool. Uh, also like an ice skater Pete's that would be amazing as well. 
Um, but, so yeah, this game looks amazing. It, I'm, I'm happy that they're like experimenting Nintendo uh, with a game, you know? We haven't really seen this in a while besides the first Luigi's Mansion game. Uh, obviously, we got Luigi's Mansion 2 and 3. Um, 3 is especially a good highlight because this deck, uh, because they build upon really what the last Luigi Mansion games were like. Um, it looks fantastic, it plays very well. Um, in fact, some people theorize that the same developers that made Luigi's Mansion 3 are making Princess Peach so time. It's not confirmed yet, but I wouldn't be surprised, especially because, again, this thing, this game does look gorgeous. But, but yeah, this is like cool to see Nintendo experiment here with their Mario characters in a way we haven't seen in a while, you know? Um, again, Wario has had his own games, Yoshi, uh, Captain Toad technically as well, but we haven't had a sequel to that game yet. Um, but Peach has like a lot of potential, um, especially after the Mario movie, which sold her to be like a, you know, like a girl boss, you know. <laughs> uh, she can kick butt, she can take names, you know. She's a good character when she's written well, like in the Mario movie. So I think giving Peach more of a spotlight is really cool, obviously, and this gives us more hope to seeing other uh, Mario characters give, be given the spotlight, like maybe more uh, Wario Land games, that would be cool. People have been missing those games since the last one came out on the Wii. Another Captain Toad game, I would love that. I love Captain Toad so much, very underrated. Um, we could also get some new uh, games with Mario characters, like I don't know, like a Daisy game, that would be really cool, especially because he's getting more of a spotlight with Mario Wonder, uh, we could see her take the, the role. Um, it would be kind of cool to have her be actually in Princess Peach So Time as like a second playable character, but I don't even know if this game is gonna have multiplayer. And from the way we saw how the game looks, the probably if there is multiplayer, it will be through that weird star thing that's accompanying Peach, which by the way, that's like the only issue I have with the game. It feels like it's unnecessary to have that weird star person with Pete, like I don't know why Nintendo insists on having like a character follow you throughout your whole journey with like Mario, with Cappy, Flood, you know, and now Pete, you know, I don't really see the point. She's already got like a crew of toes, so I don't know why she has to have like a partner thing. Uh, why cannot just have the toes be with her, you know? I don't know, it kind of feels like it's like pointless just to add um a character there just because i don't know but i don't really think it's necessary um but besides that this game looks amazing i cannot wait for it um very strange that they teased it in the june direct like if like the way they teased it made it made it seem to me and many other people that it wasn't going to come out for like a long time and it also wasn't going to be that big of a game from Nintendo. It's just going to be like a small side project thing. But no, it's actually a bigger deal uh, for not just this game but like the Mario franchise as a whole because it's giving spotlight to Pete's and so other Mario characters. Um, and this seems like it has a really big decent budget so I don't know why Nintendo teased it like that very confusing Nintendo is very strange sometimes um I will admit that 100% I love them but man they are confusing but yeah guys I think that's gonna be it for the video not much to say other than I'm excited for the game looks amazing I cannot wait to play it uh it comes out March something 20 something I think um, probably not gonna get it on release day because I'm a pe very poor boy. Though that is changing because I have opened a Patreon and a Green Labs account. Uh, I already got my first Patreon member, Damien Grace. Uh, thank you so much for the support, man. But yeah, if you want to become Patreons, you will be shouted out at the end of all my videos like I just did with him. So click the links below if you want to support me. But otherwise, that's totally fine. Watching and liking and subscribing, totally enough for me. But yeah, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoy. Play some Xenoblade and I'll catch you guys next time for more. Peace.